Hi, this is James from Hornball Technical Support, and this is a short video to show you how to configure notifications on the self-service portal. Um, so as you can see here, we're on the self-service portal, and on the right-hand side, we have a email service which is showing online. So how do we set that up? Um, so if I go within the SupportWorks Today page, as you can see, um, it also shows here the email service um, and is running without problems, it's online. If I go within that service and change the operational status to degraded and save changes, then you'll see here um, it's changed on the SportWorks Today page to say it impacted. It's, uh, experiencing problems on the self-service portal a similar change has happened and it's saying it's impacted something's wrong um, so on the sports today page as you can see there's another service so why isn't that showing as well um, if we go within the service there's a couple of areas that you'll need to ensure is set up first first of all we need to check that uh, the service can be monitored for availability which is already ticked so that's fine um, that it's got an operational status it's online it's fine yeah because it's showing here on the sportworks today page um, next area you need to check is the availability tab and not notification settings um, there's settings for both sportworks today page and the self-service so once I go to self-service ah, actually it's not actually ticked so I'm going to tick these options and save changes then after a refresh of here it still doesn't appear. So there is also another setting we need to change from within the service, if I go to the right one, and um, in the subscriptions, ah, well actually we can see that no one actually uses this service, so it's not going to appear on the self-service portal unless they're actually going to be affected by it. So what I'm going to do is add a customer, I'm currently logged in as Alan Castle, and subscribe Alan to this service. Apply subscription. And there he's there. Um, so now when I refresh, you'll see that it actually does appear. Um, so this is quite important. So uh, these these notifications are only going to appear if you actually use them. So that means that if you've got quite a few services, you know, tens or even hundreds we've seen in the past of services. You only really want to see a notification, the one that's actually going to affect you. So you can also do this with the CIs, so it's not just limited to services. So I want to go into Manage CMDB, Configuration Items. I'm just going to choose one at random. And it's a similar setting, so we're going to do exactly the same thing here. So we're going to... Item could be monitored for availability. Um, I'm also going to select a contact. This is effectively the same as the subscriptions, so we're going to say who actually uses this CI. I'm going to select him, as you can see it's selected. And also in availability, I'm going to set up exactly the same thing for self-service. Okay, it's ticked already, so that's fine. And save changes. So again, I'm going to refresh, and it's there. So um, the only other area you wish to, may wish to uh, have a look at is in terms of what actually depicts whether it's online, um, what colour you want the text to be. So this area you might want to check the configuration within the CMDB. So you have different status uh, definitions here. Uh, when you actually go within the definitions um, you have a color code which you can obviously select uh, from a picker here so you can you can set up your own statuses and um, obviously you can just change the operational status on the service and the status on the CI and um, yeah so you can get all these uh, on the notifications you wish so any problems with this uh, please let me know or just drop us a line